In this lesson we're going to look at three more examples of subtracting whole numbers and in these examples we'll see some issues that uh, come up that are important to think about. So we'll start with 2640 minus 986 and we'll put these numbers in the vertical subtracting format as we had in the last video. And so I start in the ones place and uh, of course um, I can't take six away from zero so I bump over to the tens place and borrow one from it. And that allows me to add ten to the ones place. Ten minus six is four. Then I go to the tens place and of course I can't take eight away from three so I need to borrow from the hundreds place and then add ten to the tens place so that's uh, 13 minus 8 is 5 and then again 9 is bigger than 5 so I will borrow from the next place over and then add 10 to make 15 so 15 minus 9 is 6 and then of course 1 minus nothing is 1 so our difference is 1654 In this next example we'll see kind of a tricky thing that can come up when you're subtracting numbers so we'll take 1,207 minus 829. So again, I see this problem over on the right of the 9 is bigger than the 7. So I'm going to have to borrow. But as I go over to the tens place to try to borrow, I notice there's nothing there. I can't borrow. Um, I can't borrow from a place value that doesn't have anything there. So what we do is instead of just trying to borrow from the tens place, what we're going to do is we're going to try to borrow from the next two places put together. So if I think of the number that is formed by these two places, I have the number 20. Okay. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to borrow 1 from 20. Well, when you borrow 1 from 20, you're left with 19. So then that allows me to turn my 7 into a 17. And then finally I can say 17 minus 9 is 8. 9 minus 2 is 7. But again, we're running into this problem of 8 is, big, uh, is bigger than 1. And so I go over here and borrow the 1 that's there. Add 10 to the 1, making it 11. So I get 11 minus 8 is 3. So our answer here is 378. Finally, we'll consider 5,006 minus 408. So 8 is bigger than 6, so I'll need to do some borrowing. I bump over to the tens place. There's nothing there. I can't borrow. I look at the next two digits put together. That's still 0, so I can't borrow from 0. So I have to look at the next three. So they form the number 500. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to borrow 1 from 500, which of course gives me 499. And then I'm able to turn my 6 into a 16, and so I've got 16 minus 8 is 8, 9 minus 0 is 9, 9 minus 4 is 5, and 4 minus 0 is 4. So we get 4,598.